So now we're gonna we're gonna glue our shields together to create the strength in it. It's a lot stronger with two of them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line it all up and we're gonna take our hot glue gun and we're just gonna start working from one side to the other, just putting as much glue down as quickly as we can because we want to make sure that it sticks pretty good and glue hot glue and you're always gonna want to keep glue sticks handy because you will use a lot of hot glue in this section and you want to do it quickly without getting it on the cord like I just did there we go and then line it back up really quickly make sure your lines are in and you're gonna press it down Well, it's sticking, but I made a mistake. I lined it up on one side, but not the other side. There we go. Get it all lined up. Make sure it's lined up so your circles are in the middle and the same. And then you can just take a little bit of glue from the edge and just kind of make sure that it is good all the way around. And voila, you got a solid two pieces together. Now, I like the fact that it's pretty solid with the glue, but that's not enough for me. I also take duct tape or Gorilla Tape, and I start in the middle, and I work my way around, and just put it in between the joints, and just fill it in. This is gonna be later covered, so it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Um, so I'm just going to do this and I'm going to do the same thing around the outside edge. So now we're going to take a Dremel and just clean up those edges like I said. So we're just going to put this mask on and then we're going to get to it. And then I'm going to take, I just use a stone bit that round any type really and I'm just going to turn it on. And just... So we just finished up using the Dremel tool to clean it up. A bit it gets a little dirty but it's uh, a lot cleaner and easier to tape so I'm going to run that tape across but I'm, before I do that because I've got the Dremel tool out I'm just going to take a moment to give it a wood green if you look here I give it a bit of a wood green um, just to make it look like wood because in the back of the old Viking shields and stuff they're made out of pressed wood so I'm going to get a quickly draw some wood green on it I'm going to make planks first and then I'm going to add some grain so I'm going to take the Dremel tool and I'm just going to add a plank. And then I'm going to add some wood grain to each of those, creating kind of a wood look. Make sure you make a knot somewhere. Looks a little more natural. You're just gonna kind of artistically draw it in there. It may not look like wood when it's pink, but when it's all painted brown, it'll get a good little wood look. Okay, well I have the Dremel tool out, it's not a bad time to do some of the little artistic things. <coughs> if you see here, I did a, the shield in a, in a half shield thing. Kind of looks like a Pokeball to some people, so I'm not going to do a half shield again, I'm going to do a quarter. So I'm just going to do a line where the stitching of the, of the leather was stitched. So I'm going to do a line and some stitches on all quarters while I have it out.
go. So now what we need to do is we need to, we've cut this out in a circle, we need to mold this into the shape that we want for our boss. So what we're gonna do to do that is we're gonna actually heat it up. So what we're gonna need is a heat gun. Uh, this is a common paint um, heat gun. So we're just gonna turn this on, get our going nice and hot. And then you need some water to cool it off. So we always keep a little bit of water because once you heat it up and you cool it fast, it'll keep its shape. So as I said, we're gonna mold this. First thing you need to do is get the paint heat gun and we're gonna heat it up. And so you're just gonna heat it up and that's gonna close up those cells and allow it to be, to be uh, molded better. You're gonna heat both sides. I always start with the, uh, the, uh, the outside and then I go to the inside. And you're gonna heat it to it's almost brown on the inside so that you're just gonna get it. And then we're gonna have to follow me down in this shot in a second because we're gonna, we're gonna show you my favorite way of molding something. And uh, so it's gonna be done here in a second. We're just gonna do one last pass on the other side. Here we go, and we're ready to mold. Okay, gonna have to do a little bit more molding on that, but it's getting there, see how you can start to get a shape out of it. I'm gonna just give a little bit more. I'm gonna do a little bit of rounding on it this time. You get it nice and hot. Because every good bow, boss of, uh, has hit, been hit by a couple of uh, weapons from there at time and time. So there we go. Make sure you get it nice and clean because we're going to be painting soon. Okay, so what I recommend now that we're in this stage, uh, minus the tape that we're going to put on the edge, uh, it's time to start thinking about your paint colors. So if you're going to do quarter, you want to paint each quarter now. You want to paint this silver. And then you want to paint your brown on the back at this point before you start gluing your your points, the rest of the points on because you don't want to mix the colors. If you start painting it after, um, your colors are going to get mixed. So now's the time to start painting. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to paint it and I'm going to bring it back so you can see how it looks painted. Okay, so this is just a quick basic paint job. What we're going to do later is I'm going to take this laces that I made, I'm going to take some um, leather strapping color, it's kind of a, like a yellowy color. I'm just going to quickly dash in those inlets and you'll, they'll pick them up. And then if you want, you can put a logo on there. So you want an R or a handprint or whatever you want to do, you can put your own logo on there. Um, but what we're going to do is we're just going to glue the boss on like this and then that'll be the front side complete. And then on the back side, all we have to do is we're going to take these two covers, we're going to glue them on like that. And then we just have to put our strapping on and we just glue our strapping on and we have a completed um, shield. So we'll just use a hot glue there, hot glue there. And then with this side for the painting, as it's just base color right now, I'm gonna, I would take a um, light brown and I would just go in each of those holes like they're scorned and a little bit of darker brown just moving in there and that'll be done with painting. And then we're gonna put on the um, brown duct tape to make it look like a leather strapping around the outside. And we're just gluing that on. We just glued it with hot glue gun. Then I just take a little bit of duct tape, just kind of make it look like a leather strap over top of it, and just put it there. And voila, we have our, we have our completed shield arm handle and our shield back and front. And as I said, all we're going to do now is put in our string later with paint. You can do that any way you want. Make this a little darker. And I'm going to put my wood grain in. Thank you for watching. Hope you have fun building your shield.